Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo Spread Time. Do you have too many micro dolls? If you're like me and knocking over your micro dolls, you need to make something to put them somewhere. The parents of Heart Lake City have begged me and asked me to make a kindergarten. So I have used the Heart Lake City High School to make a kindergarten. I have kept the columns that the original building had and I just added some rainbow bricks and little studs and a very colourful kindergarten sign here. I've kept the basketball hoop but I made it a little bit shorter so the little micro dolls can play and I've used that <laughs> deflated ball. And here is a beautiful tree at the front. I thought it needed something on this side of the school. So I've made it here and I've added like pink and yellow flowers on here and a cute little butterfly. I'm trying to pop that leaf back on. There we go. And I've made another tree here, different colors because this is a kindy. I wanted lots and lots of colors. I've got a hopscotch happening and we've got a little ladybug here that the kids have found in the garden. There is lots to do in this playground and here are some logs that I've put in and it's the don't touch the lava game. And we've got a little merry-go-round and at the back here's a tiny little seesaw. And this is like the cubby house that came with the playground set a few years back. So I thought I'll use it up here at the school because it's perfect here. And a little sandpit here in the corner. And I have done fencing all around to keep the little kids inside. We don't want them running around out on the road. I'll just move my camera up so you can see the front of the school. And I've kept the school looking the same. I've just increased it by one brick high on each of the levels. Kept the sign, except here I've added different colored dots tiles. And the roof I have increased in height also. And I'll just turn it around here so you can see the side. I tried to use up as many of the parts as I could. I've used two sets to make this school. So I wanted to enclose it a lot more. And these gates here are like 30 years old. I've used them from one of my very old, old Lego sets I had. If you only have one of these sets, keep it looking the same, just change out the interior. So in a sec, I'll show you what I've done inside and you can do the same. So here's that little tree house and I've made like a little rainbow ladder going up. And here's a little telescope in there and a little kitchen set because kids love pretend play. And this is the inside and I've popped little fairy lights up here. And I've made a big colourful mat so all the kids can sit here and listen to the teacher when she teaches. In the corner here's the art and craft section. I've made that really colourful like a rainbow and I have lots of paint pots here. And I've done these paint brushes so the tips I've painted with just nail polish because we need all different colours as we only ever get green or a plain one, but then I got an orange paintbrush there with Ninjago. Uh, I've got a, ra a radio here on top so they can play statues or just listen to some music. And I've used the stickers from the high school there in the art section as well. So over here will be the little blackboard and I've popped some of the video tiles there and I've got a little pirate map, more stickers to make it look like kindy and Marissa, she is the kindy teacher now. She's left the high school and I don't know why she wants to teach kindy but anyway, here we have the blackboard or whiteboard and I've printed this out on the computer and all I've done is covered it with um, the sticky tape to make it look more like a sticker. And then I've blue tacked it on there so you can remove it and change it if you like. 
And here's another little maths equation that I've done. So more work for them to do and learn some numbers. And over here is the book area and I've actually made some books also. Here is Bluey at the Beach that is very popular here in Australia and America I've found out. Macca the Alpaca, one of my girls favourites, I love that book. And Clifford Goes to Kindergarten, what an appropriate book to put in here, there we go. And over here is the teacher's desk. And she has her little laptop and a sandwich. That sticker's from one of the city houses. And I've made a little bookshelf at the back there. I've used the lockers from the high school and that's where the kids put their lunch boxes and backpacks. And I love how that shows through all the little colorful uh, round tiles there. And over here, I've made a little train set. Kids love playing with trains. So, and I made it a perfect height for the little micro dolls to play with. And that goes over here. Here's another picture that the kitties have drawn. I'll pop that over here. And we have a packet of pencils. So I'll just pop it over here near the whiteboard. There we go, I'll tidy that up. Look at that, it's very colorful kindy. And here's the play corner. We have a little gingerbread house and it's missing a few bits as kids break things. <laughs> a little play dolphin and they all love Frozen. So we've got a little snogie there and a cute little buddy. We'll pop you back in here. After I show you, I've popped some stickers here, little rainbow and butterflies, just to brighten up the corner and not have plain walls. Kindies don't have plain walls, so you need lots of stickers. In the corner, here's the bathroom. And I've used some washi tape on the door, just so it's not all clear. And I've made it the perfect height for the micro dolls. I don't know how the teacher will feel sitting on a toilet that low, but anyway. Um, I'll try and pop a micro doll in there. Here's one of the little girls. Oh, it's a bit tricky to pop in with the camera in front. There we go, we'll pop her over here. And this is what it looks like. I'm actually really happy with how this kindergarten turned out. I've made some stairs to go up to the top because we've got another level. And more stickers, fun in kindergarten. And here is like the music and drama corner. And that little piano is perfect for Kevin. Perfect height for him, we'll pop him over here. And we've got a little box here of musical instruments and dress ups. Here's a little tambourine. Pop that back in. And here are these little studs tiled studs are little pillows for the kids to sit on because that's a little stage there for performing and here is like the science corner and where they keep all their pets Olivia's robot Zobo got a little fish tank and they've popped the little ladybugs under there to have a look at all their spots more stickers A B C D the kids are learning heaps here now I just have to fill it up with kindy kids. Look at this. We've got performances going on. We've got kids in the science lab. Kids everywhere. It's just micro doll paradise here. We have Stephanie in the painting corner. She's painting a pineapple. Mia's drawn something for Emma and Emma's saying it's fantastic. We have Olivia and little Prince Eric checking out their pet frog. Here the girls are playing hopscotch. It's so cute. I love those little micro dolls. And we're playing Don't Touch the Lava Game and lots of girls on the merry-go-round. And we have a few kids in the sand pit and I think Kevin's breaking up the sandcastle. My custom Heart Lake City Kindergarten. I love how this has turned out. Um, I really needed a kindergarten to put all these little micro dolls in. And I've put so much detail inside, it actually looks like a real kindy. Now, if you don't have two sets, it's all right. You can use the one set you have, just fit it out inside to make it look more like a kindy. Just make it all rainbow and colorful. 
So I hope I have given you lots of ideas on how you can renovate your Heart Lake City High School. So everyone, get your bricks out, get building and get creative.